Welcome, everybody. I'll make it clear up front, this isn't going to be a very inspiring annual general meeting. We're uh, certainly following uh, some pretty impressive discussions earlier today. Uh, so who else is excited to be in Newfoundland and Labrador? I know I certainly am. Thank you so much uh, for having us here today. And thank you to St. John's Sport and Entertainment uh, Limited as well. This, is, this facility is incredible. Um, certainly a crown jewel in Atlantic Canada, so thank you for that. Also want to thank the City of St. John's, Destination St. John's, Celebrate NL, and uh, Step St. John's. Without your generous support and work and planning this session, it wouldn't be possible. Um, <clears throat> So my name's Matt Moore. I'm the outgoing chair of the board for the Event Atlantic Society. My peers have voted me off the island. Uh, it's, been a it's been a pleasure the last four years. Um, and my role here today is to stay on script with the annual general meeting. So um, with, the, with your approval, I'll preside as chair of this meeting and I shall ask Stephanie Turner, our executive director uh, for our organization to act as a secretary of the meeting uh, Stephanie will also act as a scrutineer to report on the number of members present at this meeting and to compute the votes um, on any balance cast uh, at this time. A couple housekeeping items be before we begin. I want to remind everyone that this meeting is being recorded, so play nice. Uh, friendly reminder that only members of Event Atlantic can vote. When visiting the summit, um, ch uh, check in desk if you haven't already. Uh, make sure you grab your ballot and uh, your identify the individual from your organization that's eligible to vote. Um, I think everybody's got those now. If anybody who is eligible and hadn't received a vote, maybe even just raise your hand in case somehow you snuck into this room and you missed you. We've got everybody. All right. Um, the notice call in this meeting has been sent to all members and copies of related materials are available in the AGM packages uh, that were given out uh, when everybody arrived. Additional copies can also be, also be found on each table uh, if you don't have them. So these are the beautiful, colorful packages. Uh, the scrutineers report shows that there are how many people? 34 people present at this meeting um, authorized to cast a ballot. I stole your script. I stole your thunder. Since the requisite quorum uh, of members is present, I declare that this meeting is duly constituted for the transaction of business. The agenda for this meeting is in your AGM package. May I have a motion from the floor to accept the agenda? From Aaron, seconder by Jeff. Any discussion? All in favor? Objections? Thank you. I declare the agenda approved. We'll move on to the approval of the minutes. The minutes of the 22 AGM are also included in your package. May I have a motion to approve the minutes? Charlotte? Charlie? I like to call her. I have a seconder. Tanya? Any discussion? All in favor? Objections? Seamus' <laughs> hand was up for all those. <clears throat> Thank you. I declare the minutes of the 22 annual general meeting approved. The next item of business is the financial report and a presentation of the Event Atlantic Society operating results for the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2022. This report will be pre presented by uh, our, our vice chair, you're not Bobby Depre, <coughs> Tanya Haywood from the city of St. John's. Thank you and welcome to St. John's everybody. We're thrilled to have you here. So Bobby wasn't able to make it so I've stepped in on his behalf. In your package on pages five through seven you will see the financial report. <coughs> I won't go through in detail. If you have any questions I'll do my best to answer or find somebody who can. Um, so the 2022 Event Atlantic Society physical year closed with a net surplus of $60,000.84. Took us nine years to get here. We are thrilled. And that is being reported today. Government partnerships, strong membership growth, and the Event Atlantic annual conference have played key roles in the healthy financial status of the society. 
Um, so major financial commitments for 22 included the implementation of a strategic plan, which many of you I think have learned about before, and if you'd like to learn more, we'd be happy to share that with you. Um, and the coinciding administration coordination that was supported financially by ACOA and all four provincial governments and partners of the Atlantic provinces. The Event Atlantic Society will commence the 23 physical year with $74,160.52 in the business account. Uh, on page five, you will see some key notes from 22 with some key expense notes. Uh, I won't go through those. They're fairly self-explanatory. The grants and contributions is certainly um, highlighted by our, our government to provincial partners, and we thank you very much for your support. The Board of Event Atlantic has worked extremely hard over the past fiscal year uh, to ensure continued operations of the Event Atlantic Society. The leadership of Stephanie Turner, um, our now full-time staff member, uh, has advanced the mandate of the organization while ensuring physical stewardship for our members and partners. And in Bobby's words, onward and upward in 2023. Are there any questions uh, about the attachments, documents? Hearing none, I'll ask for a motion uh, of approval of financial statements for 2022. You have to call, thank you. And a seconder. You got that, Stephanie, thank you. All in favor? Any not in favor? Did you just keep your hand down? Thank you, approved. Uh, so the first item up for business on the uh, the chair's organization report um, really is a huge thank you. Just going back four years where we were uh, just as the cusp of the pandemic was upon us, um, we were an organization that was, wasn't was sustainable. We were able to succeed each year by hosting successful uh, summits and now um, with the generous support uh, from events in Nova Scotia, celebrate uh, NL, province of New Brunswick, um, province, province of PEI. We've secured some sustainable funding that also allowed us to bring um, ACOA to the table. So combined, we've um, you know, not only navigated the challenges of the pandemic over the last few years, but we've come back much stronger and we've built back better. So thank you for your uh, efforts. And it's amazing, again, as Wayne Long said earlier in his um, moderator role that we really are a region in this sector um, that punches well above our weight, but there's also no other collection of four provinces that collaborate with, like we do. So thank you to all government um, funders for coming together and, and uh, making this happen. Um, also, sorry, Steph, if I went rogue on you there. Uh, I just want to recognize the tremendous work uh, that's been done, uh, spearheaded by our executive director, Stephanie Turner. Um, so in addition to the, uh, the funding, uh, we've also identified opportunities to offer best practice, rec best practice mission trips to our uh, membership base. So what that means is we've collab Did I jump ahead a slide again? I can't see the slide, you see, so we're, so <laughs> I'm guessing, so we're, sorry, I jumped ahead a little bit, but uh, with the best pra practice mission trips, it's an opportunity for our membership to come together as Atlantic Canadians in the event space, attend some international conferences, and have some of that fun, uh, some of the uh, funding and the cost of travel subsidized by our organization. Um, there is limited capacity to take part in those best practice mission trips, I think the Biggest one that's coming up right away is uh, Host City, if I'm correct. Um, so certainly reach out to Steph if you have an interest in, uh, you know, waving the Atlantic Canadian flag with us and helping to bring more business um, to the region. Um, also want to acknowledge the great work that's gone through um, to rebrand the organization. So we have a really exciting modernized brand, new logo, new website. I think I'm, Stephanie's laughing at me because I have no idea what these slides are saying. Um, but really, it's given us a modern new image, it represents the region. We also soon will be launching the member portal, so we'll have more tools and resources available to our members to be able to access the portal in the coming, uh, coming weeks. And um, it's going to be exciting to keep us all engaged and collaborated. 
Um, with that, upcoming projects, we have, um, I thought I covered them all and stuff, so. <clears throat> so coming up here in October, um, if anybody hasn't attended, there's the IEBA conference in Nashville. It's the Internet, International Entertainment Buyers Association. So there's a collective of, of uh, individuals that will be attending that conference on behalf of the organization. Again, trying to develop opportunities to partner uh, routing for live tours, identifying new promoters, new rights holders that we can bring to the region. Um, we soon have uh, breakout sessions. We had some success over the pandemic in the previous years with Events Nova Scotia hosting uh, some webinars and, uh, spe and sessions specific to that region, region but we're uh, moving forward with some uh, breakout sessions in the province later this fall, and we hope to bring these smaller versions of uh, this summit um, into each individual um, province in Atlantic Canada uh, through, through our breakout sessions. Um, the upcoming, are we announcing this yet, Steph? I'm going to save that one for you. So we've issued RFPs for hosts for the upcoming uh, annual summit for 24 and 25. I'll let Steph announce the worst kept secret that's on the back of your packages. And we've also secured an opportunity in the province of Nova Scotia that we hope to extend to other Atlantic provinces as well, a uh, pro professional, uh, professional skateboarding tour. So Event Atlantic is going to facilitate a pro skateboarding tour that's going to land in uh, four skate parks in the province of Nova Scotia with um, professional caliber athletes. Hopefully there's an opportunity for us to extend that tour uh, into our other neighboring provinces. And um, last but not, not least, um, you know, this is, uh, I think, the second year that we've had the Excellence Awards. No, the third year. Well, you combine the first two, so it's not really. So they, again, uh, tomorrow afternoon, we'll have the Event Atlantic Excellence Awards, and it's just amazing to see the success stories and overwhelming response from individuals and stakeholders that have submitted uh, nominations. And it's really a great opportunity to recognize uh, folks that have been leading, uh, leading the way, not only through the pandemic, but as we uh, continue to move back into exciting event tourism growth. Um, all right, back on script with the AGM. <coughs> I'd like to ask a member to make a motion to approve the chair's report. You sure? The acts of the directors. Okay. The next item up for business is to pass a resolution of the members approving the acts of the directors and officers of the Event Atlantic Society during the previous year. I'd like to ask a member to make such a motion. see Jeff, I see seconded by Tanya. Any discussion? All in favor? Any objections? Thank you. Election of directors. I'd like to ask Stephanie to complete the election of directors. The Event Atlantic Society is governed by a board of directors of 12, with a makeup of two representatives for, uh, for each of the four Atlantic provinces and one from each of the four founding partners acting as advisory ex officio representatives. After a review of vacancies, a call of nominations was issued for available board seats. The positions requiring an election for, the, for a two-year term in our AGM uh, package bios were included for each of the candidates who put their names forward. Following the call of nominations, it's been determined that an election is required for Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island. In the event that a nomination comes from the floor, ballots for that province's election will be reissued to all voting members. So before we get begin, I need to ask if there are any other nominations from the floor. Are there any nominations from the floor? Second call. Third call, are there any nominations from the floor? Thank you for making my life easy, because that would have been difficult. <laughs> All right, we will begin with uh, Newfoundland and Labrador. Uh, I've tallied the ballots while you were eating lunch, and I would like to congratulate Tara Lynch on your successful election. For 
Bar, Nova Scotia, I would like to congratulate Chris Goss on your successful election. And finally, for Prince Edward Island, I would like to congratulate Emma McKenzie on her return successful election. So I propose the following slate of directors for the next two years. Lindsay Smith of New Brunswick, Tara Lynch for Newfoundland and Labrador, Chris Goss for Nova Scotia, and Emma McKenzie for Prince Edward Island. Thanks, Steph. May I have a motion to approve the proposed slate of directors of the Event Atlantic Society? Seeing the case are Aaron and Jill. Any discussion? All in favor? Any objections? Thank you. I declare the following individuals, Chris Goss, Tara Lynch, Emma McKenzie, Lindsay Smith, to be duly elected directors of the Event Atlantic Society, commencing on this date, June 14th, 2023. They will be, uh, they will join the returning board of directors, Jeff McTavish, Aaron Skinner, Paul McDonald, Charlotte Nicholson, and uh, myself as I move into the past chair uh, role along with Shane Porter, Jason Collins, Mike McSween, and Wayne Long, representing our founding partners. Um, I also want to recognize and share some gratitude for the contributions from Tanya Haywood. Uh, she's been a member of our board for quite some time. And also, Bobby Dupre. I wish Bobby was here today. We can give him a hard time. But uh, again, I look to both of you um, as a new board member with the Event Atlantic Society. I saw both you and Bobby as mentors, um, and we're certainly going to miss you off the board, but uh, we truly appreciate your leadership helping us in our sector navigate the challenges of the pandemic, and without your contributions, we wouldn't be where we're at today. So thank you for your time served. Um, is there any further business to be brought before the meeting? Hearing none. We're going rogue. So as Matt said, he is the uh, outgoing chair of our board. Um, so Stephanie and I uh, just got together and we wanted to say a thank you to you as well for your um, service and your leadership to this board. We're happy to have you on as the past president. But I'd just like to uh, take a moment today to say a few words um, about you as we say goodbye as chair. Uh, so for those of you who may not know, Matt in his daytime job is the general manager of the Rath Eastlink Community Center or the REC. Um, Matt has taken the REC from a community-built health and wellness sport and recreation center to Toronto's largest indoor event venue uh, for hosting major events such as Brett Kissel, Jan Arden, Kim Mitchell, Stars on Ice, Grand Slam Curling, World Junior Hockey, just to name a few, and I'm sure there's many more on the road ahead. When Matt is not busy creating successful event experiences for the guests at the REC, he is actively promoting our Atlantic region as the chair of Event Atlantic with the goal of developing new opportunities that contribute to tourism and economic growth of Atlantic Canada. And he's done a great job in your tenure. Uh, during this time as chair, Matt has worked with the board to successfully lead the development and adoption of a three-year strategic plan, secured multi-year, multi-level government funding, uh, which has got us to where we are today, uh, led membership growth, and just to note that attendance at this year's summit is the highest since the first one that we held nine years ago. So thank you all for being a part of that. <laughs> Matt has also led the establishment of a full-time executive director staff position, Stephanie, and we're thrilled to have you, um, and has increased industry engagement through representation at national and international level conferences, including Sport Event Congress, Atlantic Recreation Con Conference, international festivals and event association and the international entertainment and buyers association conferences. So Matt, if you know him, takes on every task uh, with a focus and dedication as if it was the only one. 
on his, but he has a very long to-do list. Uh, so we are grateful that he has dedicated this time with us. Um, and he is also an amazing husband and father to four young girls, which keep him very busy. So we are, thank you again for your time. Um, for those of you who know Matt, you know that even though he can appear very professional and serious, he has a, a quite the fun side to him. Um, he's an easygoing fellow who doesn't always take life too seriously and can have a little fun. And uh, just so you know, he is the co-founder not only of, or the chair not only of Event Atlantic, but the co-founder of the Event Atlantic Margarita Club. The two key members are Matt and Stephanie, and they will guide you in that accordingly. Um, as a true event planner who thinks on his feet, he has also added duties of pizza delivery person to Stephanie's job duties at every event that she gets volunteered for. Um, and he is a very our popular, I won't call him the most popular because we had some popular chairs of our past and some are here today, but he's a very popular chair of Event Atlantic to hit George Street, at least according to uh, one local woman, slightly older than Matt I hear, uh, who is known to George Street in the downtown and did her best to convince him that she was to hang out with him for the evening and into the night. I think he's a, he got his senses about him and yeah, Stephanie's telling stories. There's a little more to that we'll share later. So Matt, thank you for your guidance and your leadership of Event Atlantic, and I hope your time as chair has left you with as many good memories as uh, you have with us, and we wish you all the best. Well then, so I'm hoping the past chair still has the ability to be on the HR committee, because I think I know who wrote that report. <laughs> Our executive director. Well, thank you so much. It's been an amazing four years, and again, team effort all the way. There's been some ups and downs for the organization, but we're certainly at the highest level of our our growth uh, where we're at here today. And it's almost time for a margarita, right? So, right. Is there any further business <laughs> to be brought before the meeting? If there's no further business to come before the meeting, I ask for a motion to conclude. Motion from Aaron, seconder. I think I saw Wayne's arm go up, Emma's arm went up. All in favor? I declare the meeting adjourned. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Um, we'll now be taking a networking break for about 15 minutes. Um, if you need your headshot updated, please go see our pal Mo, the photographer. Uh, Maurice is uh, set up just outside the, uh, in the main foyer. Great. Awesome. Thanks everybody. So about 15 minutes and we'll get right back into action. <laughs>